Oh, I think Kat has a crush this morning. Now, if you've been wondering why there is a buzz in studio today, in fact, why there's a buzz in South Africa due to an unbelievable amount of demand, WWE is back in South Africa. They're back in Cape Town for gigs here in um, April as well as Johannesburg. And for the very first time, Pretoria, you are lucky enough to get your own showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what that means. We get to experience some of the most intense action in the ring and to get us warmed up for that, to help us loosen up just a little bit, we have a huge amount of pride and pleasure in inviting professional wrestler Titus O'Neill into the house this morning. What's going on, South Africa? Oh, dude, Cape six Town. foot six, 120 kilograms of pro athlete Titus. Welcome, welcome to South Africa. Uh, do you guys get a breath? Have you have you had an opportunity to take in where you are at the moment, man? Well, not yet. I, I uh, <laughs> this is pretty amazing. They tricked me. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna put it on camera. They put me on the other side first, then brought me over here to this amazing view, which is amazing all the way around. But this is it's this is pretty special, awesome. Man. I mean, it's a great place to come to work. It's, at it's every tough morning. to have a bad day at the office, yeah, now, man. But, yeah, it's but really tough. I have to say, people taking photos for the first time ever, we weren't able to see Lion's Head behind you, man. You actually obscured half yeah. of, of Table Mountain. But yeah. Titus, <laughs> so cool to have you here, man. We are really excited. You have such an unbelievable brand. I'm a new dad as well, so I love the efforts that you put in there. But for me, the most amazing thing when I look at what you're able to achieve in WWE as an athlete, as a, as a gymnast, yeah. as, a, as a fighter, what you guys pull off is awe-inspiring. Obviously, you've got the pro footballing background as well, which I'm, right. I'm sure helps. How intense is it physically? Uh, physically, it's very intense. I mean, we don't have an off-season. We go 52 weeks a year. We're producing live television with the longest-running episodic television show wow. in the history of TV. Uh, with Monday Night Raw and with SmackDown. And uh, so each week we're all over the world, uh, taking us to fabulous places, countries, cities uh, throughout to put on this great product that we call the WWE. And our motto is to put smiles on faces and we do that in front of millions on you a weekly basis. You see the basis. smile right now. I'm actually yeah. cramping, I'm smiling so much. Yeah. What, what was the, the shift like moving from pro football, which is physically demanding probably at, at its peak as well, into this space, which is, I would imagine, quite different, or is there a similarity in the way you approach it? Well, athletically, it's about the same. It's a bunch of car crashes every week. <laughs> uh, but the, the hard part about being, being a WWE superstar, the harder part is that we don't have an off season. Yeah. As I say, we put on 52 weeks of live television programming weekly. Yeah. We do it all over the world. So in football, you know, you have a, a season and then you have the playoffs if you're fortunate enough to make it there. And then uh, the season's over, you get some off downtime and then you do it again. We have zero downtime, you know, we have our biggest shows, you know, Monday Night Raw, and then we have live events on the weekends, and then, you know, WrestleMania, and then people don't realize what, right after the big show on WrestleMania, we got the, the night after Raw WrestleMania, yeah. which is amazing. And, it's the, just and the fans constant, don't give you a break yeah. either, man, because oh, no. you, you're always yeah, on for yeah, the fans, man. Yeah, You've got definitely. to manage that. Why the name Titus O'Neil? We know you as Thaddeus, but yeah. Titus is obviously the, the brand name. What was the rationale there, man? Uh, just, well, my youngest son's name is Titus. And Shaquille O'Neal was one of my favorite athletes, still is one of my favorite people of all time. I like how he not only was a basketball player, but he also did movies, he did music, he did all kinds of things, and he had fun doing all of it. And he so was a that's, brand, man. Yeah, exactly. So now I have the largest brand in the, in, <laughs> within WWE at Titus Worldwide. So yeah, it, just it, take a look at his, his online cool. following, but yeah. I, I love the fact that you're using that platform as a father, yeah. um, as an inspiration. It really is cool to see what you're doing. We've got you out all morning, so I'm yeah. going to plug you for a lot of facts, man. Yes. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Generous of spirit. Um, it gets real when you shake his hand and yeah. his fingers touch your elbow, man. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Titus O'Neill is in the house. Yeah. Show him all. It's my feel good breakfast show. Oh, I've been loving to get to getting to know the man behind the brand, WWE wrestling superstar Titus O'Neill, of course, here in South Africa next month for WWE Live. It's back after far too long. It's Joburg, Cape Town, and new dates booked in Pretoria. We've got all of the details up on screen. Um, Titus, thank you so much for being so generous with your, with your time, with your yeah. spirits on set. Uh, he's probably taken about a thousand photos already this morning. And, and you do it just with a smile, and I, I can see how much you, you love it. I've got to ask you to go back to the very beginning of not just the wrestling brand, but wrestling itself. Were you always a fan? Did you grow up watching wrestling? Yeah. Was this, did you ever have that thought as a young guy thinking, I, I can do that, I want to be that one day? Well, I never had the <laughs> thought that I wanted to do this. Uh, but I did grow up as a fan, watching it every Saturday morning with my grandmother. Uh, we, we, could we had two options. We could either stay outside 
uh, or watch the Smurfs in the morning, and then watch wrestling immediately after. So uh, we, a lot of times, we were forced to stay inside, and so I just got hooked with it because it was something that brought our whole family together. And uh, yeah, even uh, one of my best friends, Dave Batista. Yeah. And uh, you know, for years he was like, "You should try this out. You should try this out." I was like, "Man, I'm not doing that." You and know? how well is he doing yeah, now he's as awesome. well? He's got to be an inspiration. Yeah. Did you have a favorite wrestler back then? I did. Uh, my favorite wrestler, like growing up, growing up, believe it or not, was uh, was uh, Junkyard Dog. <laughs> and I, uh, I mean, I just, you know, as, as a young African American male, you only see so many characters on television uh, that look like you and uh, I, he was just a fun loving guy man and, and uh, people thank loved him from all walks of life. Thank God that is changing yes, man. Yeah. As someone who sent, you said not nearly 3,000 kids to go and watch Black Panther yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, again it's one of those things where you want to see, you want to let kids, I wanted to give kids an opportunity to see heroes on screen and also that look like them, but also let them vision, envision themselves as their everyday heroes. They can be a hero in a classroom, hero in a community, hero at home. Science lab, and, yeah, uh, man, yeah, I love so. that. So you're an amazing father to kids that aren't even yours. You're an amazing dad to, to your two boys, and now you're a dad in the ring. Yeah, WWE, uh, yeah. you've got your personal brand, you've got Titus Worldwide, but you've also got a tag team to look after now, yeah. Apollo Crews, Donna Brooke. Which do you enjoy more, performing on your own, getting out there, getting stuck in, or, or performing with your yeah. boys? I, 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 I like it all. Uh, <laughs> I just, uh, you know, one of the, the, the greatest things that I enjoy is, is being able to not only contribute as an entertainer, but also see other entertainers around me grow. And I think that uh, Dana Brooke and both Apollo have had an, a, a great amount of growth in the time that they've been involved in Titus Worldwide. And it's only the beginning. You know, we're going to uh, continue to go after those tag team titles uh, or any other title that we get opportunity to go after. Uh, but also entertain. Uh, entertaining is our number one priority because obviously longevity in the business of WWE is, is all about entertainment and especially in entertain in entertainment industry in general. Uh, if you are a great musician, uh, you know you have one hit, then you're done. Then you're not in the in the business that long. Uh, but if you are consistently great at entertaining folks and providing good music, which is what we want to do, we want to provide good moments, good music. Uh, good everything, and I think we have that uh, going in Titus Worldwide. Oh, you really do. What other sport could a grandmother and a young boy watch together? Yeah. WWE Live coming to South Africa. Um, Titus Worldwide, you, you set an unbelievable example. Thank you so much, man. Thank your, you. your, as I said, your generosity of spirit is just something really, really yes, um, remarkable. Thank you so yeah. much, man. Can I shake that big old hand Absolutely. one more time? Y'all get a close up on this. <laughs> just look at Make that. sure I don't, I don't get, you know, <laughs> I'm done. Let's, you know. I'll stand on my tiptoes. Yeah, Brother, yeah. you're an absolute gent. Yeah, Thank you so much, my Thank man. You. Yes, sir. Thank you.